My name is Craig Pickett, and I'm the Technical Education Manager here at the Whitmix Corporation. And today we want to talk to you a little bit about the new VPM Mini Mixer. We're going to talk a little bit about programming and a little bit about the maintenance uh, for this particular machine and a little bit of troubleshooting. So when you get this all set up and ready to go, you have some options here in Mini. You have the program that you're going to use, you have the amount of time that it's going to mix, and you have the speed or the RPM that the paddles are going to turn. In order to get to that information, we're going to use the on-off button, which is right here on the face of the machine, and it will bring up what's currently in your machine. Now, up here in the left-hand corner, you're going to see something uh, flashing. It's telling you first where it says P00, that you're on program 00, and that the speed of the rotation of the paddles for this particular program is 425 RPM. It's also going to mix for one minute, which is on your screen. So if we were to use that particular program, we would place the bowl in place up in the throat and press the big uh, silver button in the center to start the program. On the right hand side, it will tell you how much vacuum is being pulled. It will hold the bowl and begin the program. It will also count down the amount of time for this program to come to an end. You'll be able to see this while you're doing other things in the laboratory or in the office laboratory. As we come to the end of the program, the machine will beep to let you know that the program is completed, but it will hold the bowl in place with the vacuum. As soon as you're ready, place your hand under the bowl, press the silver button, it will release the vacuum and release the bowl. Alright, now we're going to program the machine. So if you'll go over to the left hand side here and select the program button, then use the silver knob here in the middle and turn it either left or right and select a program that you would like to program information into. Once you've selected the program number, simply press the silver button. Okay, now you've selected the program and it's going to ask you what RPM you would like to select. Go ahead and simply press the RPM button. You'll see the RPM notation in the top left. Turn the silver button until you reach the correct amount of RPM for your particular product and then press the silver button. Now, once you've done that, we're going to select the amount of time that this particular program is going to run. Press the time button and select the amount of time that you would like your program to run. Once you've done that, Press the silver button again, and you've programmed your program. Now one of the things that we need to do with the VPM Mini is a little bit of maintenance. And you should do this every week. There is a foam filter right here in the throat of the machine, and you want to remove that filter every week, wash it out, and then just set it on top of the machine and let it dry. Probably the best time to do that is on a Friday when you're going to be leaving the machine alone for the weekend. When it's dry, then it can be replaced in, into the throat of the machine and it's there to protect the machine from any material from the bowl being pulled up into the machine by the vacuum. Now, with the VPM Mini, there are some things that we need to be concerned about. And that is because technicians often will disregard something called a max fill line, which is on each of the bowls that comes with the mini. The powder element should be filled only to the max fill line. If you fill it beyond that max fill line, 
then you run the risk of the vacuum pulling either powder or liquid material through the vacuum hole here in the lid and into your machine, causing problems with your vacuum. You want to make sure you don't overfill this bowl. Now, once you do have a problem and there's a vacuum issue that shows up, we need to make sure that we, we eliminate the machine as the problem. And in order to do that, we're going to lay the, the VPM Mini on its back and take a look up the throat of the machine. Now, with the VPM Mini on its back, we're going to remove the foam filter, and you can see two landmarks here in the throat of the machine. First is the drive that turns the paddles in the bowl, and the second is this screen filter, which is where the vacuum is being pulled. We're going to check the machine now to make sure that the machine is pulling vacuum correctly. And in order to do that, we simply turn the machine on with a program and let it begin to run, and then place our thumb over the screen, and you can hear the vacuum being pulled. Once the vacuum has reached a sufficient level, the drive nut will be turning down here. That tells us that whatever the vacuum problem is, it's not a problem with the machine itself. Now that we've discovered that the machine is all right in pulling a vacuum, there are two other places we need to check. The first is this rubber o-ring that goes around the throat. If this has um, gypsum or investment material caked into it, it can be preventing a vacuum seal to the lid of the bowl. So we want to make sure that this is completely clean and that it is seated all the way properly. All right, now that we've checked the machine and we know it's not the machine that's having a vacuum issue, but that there is a leak somewhere else in this system, we've checked the rubber o-ring in the throat and that's clean and seated properly. Then the next thing that we need to check is the o-ring itself that's in the lid of the bowl. This often will get gypsum stuck or investment stuck up in this ring and we need to make sure that that's clean, that it's seated properly, and that it's capable of drawing that vacuum. Now, as long as you're clean, the way to note that it's seated properly is to place that against a bowl with a clean lip surface here, and then pressing them tightly together, twist the lid and the bowl. This will ensure a nice seat of that O-ring, and we should have vacuum restored to the system.